The All-American Fencing Academy is grateful to our sponsors who are helping us bring you our on-strip, at-home video training classes. Fox Bookkeeping, helping small business owners and entrepreneurs to run their businesses with confidence by helping them know what the score is. Steve C. McRae, PA, Burlington Family Law, Divorce, and Personal Injury Attorney. Matthew Woods, VO, Professional Voiceover Services. update here. Uh, so this is a week that there is no fencing that I'm recording this. Um, but uh, just, you know, I look forward to having you guys next week. I'll look forward to having classes again. It's a big adjustment for me since I've been doing private lessons uh, for most of the summer. Don't forget, uh, make sure you have masks when you come up here. Go set your stuff down. If you're, you're the type of people, uh, if the, you're the kids that always run around play tag, we might want to hold that off. So come in here. Uh, parents, again, if you can, uh, wait in the car. Enjoy downtown Fayetteville. Uh, let's try to reduce the amount of uh, people that's in the fencing room. Again, try to use the restroom before you come here. If you got to, you got to. All right, but let's try to reduce the amount of things that we have to touch in the fencing room. Um, bring your old water bottle. Uh, we're not going to be using the water fountain downstairs. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions about buying equipment, let me know. Um, so this week, uh, I'm not going to be doing all the classes that I have been doing, like I usually do for the video. Um, I think today we're going to have that that episode, or it's a flashback episode. Okay. So let's let's think back to. So our early, early uh, classes that we did online. You know, this this was my favorite warm up to do. One of my favorite warm ups to do. I think this might have been the first warm up that we had. Let's go check it out. Hello everyone again. Um, Welcome to our next class. Uh, just like before, it's going to be a structured class. You can do it one at a time, a section at a time, spread it out uh, over the next couple of days, or do it all at one time. If you do it all at one time, it's going to take about an hour, just like regular class. All right, here's our warm ups. Uh, we're going to do a demonstration before. It's going to be very similar to what we did last time, uh, but the first thing you're going to be doing is just kind of jogging in place or moving in place. So if you watch Diego demonstrate this one, you can jog in place. If I say forward, he's going to run as fast as he can, two meters forward and then jog back. So once again, forward. Good, and just jog back. Now we're only doing two meters in the rest of the game. We're only doing two meters because I don't know how much space you might have at home. You could do this in the backyard, in a hallway, or in the driveway, uh, or in the garage, but we're, we're not taking a whole lot of space because we want you to be able to do this at home. Back to jogging. If I say backward, he's just gonna run back for two meters and just jog back forward. All right, so one more demonstration, forward. As fast as he can. Try that again. Forward. Good. And then back. Good. So he's just jogging in place, or I'll demonstrate you can if you like, just, just nice and easy. Alright? I, I like that position. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate with Isabel. Uh, Isabel, she's going to be uh, uh, jogging or, or moving in place. If I say advancing, she's gonna do rapid advancing for two meters and then lunge. Good, back to one guard, and then jogging back. So that's more than two meters for them. Two meters is just gonna be this, the next set of triangles. Ready? So a lot of small advances. Ready? Bouncing or jogging. Advancing. Still going too far. <laughs> Ready? Try that again. So you're only going up here. So remember, when, when you go, it has to be small advances. So you're not going too big. Once you go, sorry, I'll face this way. Once you go, and then jog back. All right, so once again, he said, ready? Bouncing and jogging. Advancing. Good, and jog back. And same thing if I say retreating, she's going to retreat back. Retreating. Lunge. Good and then jog back. So whenever we go back to the middle is jog back. So I'll demonstrate real quick again. So we're back here. If I say advancing, 
and just bounce back. If I say retreating, and just jog back. All right, we're gonna do this for about a minute. So you can either gain those uh, jogging in place. I tend to just bounce like this. All right, ready? I'm gonna set my timer. We're gonna go for a minute and take, uh, let's say, a half minute break. All right, ready? Bouncing. Nice and easy, nice and easy. However, you want to keep moving forward. Bouncing. Back. And just nice and easy. Advancing. Bouncing, nice and easy. Retreating. push-up position, you're going to kick out, but you don't have to do the push-up, not like a regular burpee, all right? Kick out, get your feet back in, jump back up. So if we demonstrate with gain, ready? Burpee, jump up, push-up position, and back. So the only thing we're leaving out is the actual push-up, all right? So if I say burpee, jump up, down, kick out, go back, jump up again. All right, ready? We took a little bit longer than 30 seconds there. We'll be ready to go in about 10 seconds. All right, ready? Almost there. Moving, nice and easy. If you get a chance to, I forgot to mention, make sure you try to uh, stretch out before this. I'll mention it again in, in voiceover. Forward. Good. Perfect. Retreat. Good. Advancing. Good, good lunges, good lunges. Make sure you're lunging and not a little bit. Advancing. Small advances. So it should take you a number of advances to get there. Perfect. How much time we got left? Backwards. Ten seconds left. Burpee. Rest. So I mentioned before, if you get a chance to, uh, make sure you uh, stretch before this. Uh, they were stretching. You didn't see them on camera, but they were stretching. Takes wind out of me too. Ten seconds left. Your last set. Ready? Five, four, three, move. Burpee. Burpee. Retreat. Make sure it's a good lunge. And they did well. I'm just reminding you guys. Advancing. Stretch out a little bit more. 
You can pause this if you like. Um, but uh, we're going to take a break too. You won't see it because we're going to cut the video. It's recording. and uh, Isabel is usually helping with, uh, with some of our work. We've also had some guests during summer come in and, and do work with us. Um, you know, one of my favorite footworks was, was this one sometime during the summer. Yeah. Uh, you're seeing that I, I'm holding something new here, so I'll describe what I'm holding. I've made some modifications to your make your own weapon, all right? Uh, so we're going to see three variations here. You're going to see one person holding a pool noodle, if you're just using a pool noodle at home. Again, pretty cheap. You can find it at Walmart, cut it in half. Uh, you're going to see some of us with their weapons, so if you have your weapons at home, please use those. Have a glove on. Uh, modifications to this weapon. So things that I've changed, uh, it's still the Shark Bite Pex from Lowe's. It is a total, you, when you buy it, it's five feet long. So cut it down to 40 inches, all right? If you're a teen or adult, or if you use my, one of my regular size weapons, cut it down to 40 inches. 35 inches about the length of your blade, all right? Leave yourself five inches for your grip. If you are a, uh, one of my children in my club uh, that, that gets the weapons from the, from the bucket, those are number three weapons. So instead of cutting it 40 inches in length, Cut it down to uh, 38 inches in length, okay? Still about 5 inches for your grip, and then instead of 35 inches for the blade, you will have 33 inches for the blade, okay? Um, the other modifications that I did, I just bought one half inch uh, caps for the PEX, also found at Lowe's in the same section, in the pipe section. Uh, this is a one half inch uh, Shark Bite PEX pipe. Again. They're pretty flexible. After a couple of hits, they kind of stay bent, so just kind of re-bend, all right? So a good facsimile that you can use at home. All right, so this footwork that we're gonna do, it will be two slow advances, a slow advance straight into a fast advance. It'll be a slow advance into a fast advance lunge, or if you wanna think about it this way, a slow advance patinando. The last one will be a double advanced lunge. So I'll demonstrate real quick. So the first one is two slow advances. Remember, it doesn't have to be big, okay? Second one is a slow to a fast lunge. Slow, fast, okay? So one more time. Slow, fast, all right? Next will be a slow advance, sort of like a half advance, and then speed up, slow advance, to a patinando or an advanced lunge. Slow, advanced lunge. Okay, one more time. Slow, advanced lunge. Last one will just be a straight double advanced, nothing slow. Double advanced lunge. Okay, all right, ready? Start with our starting points. Good, ready, on guard. First one, two slow advances. Good, remember, they don't have to be big. Second one, slow advance, fast advance. Good. Next one, slow advance, patinando, or advance lunge. Good. Recover. Last one, double advance lunge. Good. Let's go back to our running points. On any of those, if you start to run out of space, Go ahead and find space, walk, walk back if you need to start all over. Alright? This time, if you want to, on the slow advances, go into preparation, I want you to go ahead and go to preparation if you know how to do that. So on any slow advance that we do, go down to preparation. So two slow advances, slow, slow. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. We go back to one guard. Slow, advanced lunge. Slow, advanced lunge. We start that extension. Slow, start that extension, advanced lunge. The 
The double advanced lunge, we don't go to preparation. It's just double advanced lunge. All right? So once again, ready? On guard. On the slow advances, move your weapon to preparation. An easy one is just bringing it down about an inch above the ground, two inches above the ground. All right? Make sure you don't extend down. If you like to do other preparations, you can. All right? Just make sure the point doesn't go behind your back. Doesn't need to. Okay? Ready? On guard. Two slow advances. Nice and easy. Good. Back to guard. Slow, fast. Good. Slow, patananda. Good. Recover. Double advanced lunge. Good. Back from guard. Walk back. So for the last one, I want you to go a little bit further with these lunges. Keep those advances small. So if you're doing small advances and they're slow, perfect. Keep doing those. Your double advances. Remember, they don't need to be big. Keep your double advances small. Okay? I want the lunges a little bit further and a little bit faster. Make sure you extend before you lunge. Double advance lunge. Great extending, double advance lunge. Okay? That advance lunge from preparation, advance lunge. All right? Make sure you extend before your lunges or your attacks. Ready? Again, if you want to go to preparation on the slow advances, please do so. Ready? Two slow advances. Small steps. Ready? Back to the guard. Slow and fast. Good. Slow advance. Lots and under. Good. Back to the guard. Double advance left. things that uh, Coach Miller said from UNC, the retired coach from UNC, um, Dr. Ron C. Miller as well, uh, if you did listen to the interview, one of the big things that he said was practice footwork. If there's anything that you can do between now and the time that we come back, if you're not, if you don't have blade work, if, if you don't have a weapon at home, if you don't have a target at home, practice footwork, all right? So right now, if you make up something, that's fine, all right? You don't have to know... Uh, a, if you want to do it fast or slow or changing directions. Um, but if you do footwork, make sure knees are bent, you're sitting down, feet in the correct position. Advances retreats, double advances, double retreats, lunges are a good place to start off with. I've got a full collection of all the different footwork that you can do uh, that's online, and you can mix and match. So sometimes what I tell people here is pick two types of movements, finish with an attack. So if you pick two movements, you can either advance, retreat, finish with attack, lunge. Or, let's say advance, retreat, finish with an attack. The attack will be a patinando. Or a jump lunge, or a balestra, or a fletch. Your pick, okay? So, that's the footwork that we did today. I challenge you for the next couple days, come up with your own piece of footwork, okay? We'll see you in the next section. Hey Gabe, uh, you're, you're repairing some weapons here? Yep. Uh, I think we'll have plenty for the return of classes. For those of you that uh, haven't done classes before, um, eventually we do uh, electric bouting at the end of every class. Usually probably what we'll do for these classes is we will uh, we'll do warm ups and, and try to get back into swing things and remembering how to do things and um, roll into electric competition a little bit later on. Uh, but we do a lot of, I think, blade work uh, during uh, during the during the summer months and for lessons. Um, so I think uh, we had some. Do you remember any of the, the blade work that we did during the classes during the during the summer? What about uh, what about that one time? That that was a good one. Yeah. Do you let's think about that one. Blade work portion. Um, so today, you need a stationary target. Even if, if you, no, no. even if you don't have a stationary target, um, uh, hey guys, welcome. To 
Hey guys, welcome to the blade work portion. Um, you will need a stationary target for this. You don't necessarily need one, uh, but it'll be helpful. Okay? Alright. So, first part of the blade work, a little bit of blade work, a little bit of footwork. I want you to remember how to do a half extension with a half advance. So it's not just a half step forward without arm movement. It's not just the extension. Halfway. So you're not at a lunge. It's just like you're stepping out. Half extension, not full extension. All right. So this gives you the ability to just kind of gauge to see what happens, see what, what they're going to do. Maybe you'll see a parry repost. Maybe they don't do anything at all. Uh, maybe they'll show you a different type of parry repost. All right. Maybe they'll attack in preparation. All right. But this doesn't close the distance really far, but it gives you some time to work with. All right. So let's say for the first example, we're going to do a half extension with a half advance and then finish with a full extension. So in this case, let's say I'm fencing, fencer doesn't do anything. Fencer doesn't do anything. Okay, doesn't do anything, I continue. All right, so you're watching, what do they do? Nothing. Okay, let's test it one more time and then go. So we're gonna do 10 half extensions with a half advance and finish with a lunge. So half extension, we don't recover, we don't pull back. Pull. Half. Pull. Alright, so let's go into 10. One. Hold it. I want you to bounce back. Two. Hold it. Back arm out. Back leg straight. Three. Remember it's a half extension, half advance. Four. Five, six, one halfway there, not fully extended. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So this next one, let's say they attack in preparation. All right. We do that. Half extension, half advance. Instead of not doing anything, maybe they just attack into us. Now we're not fully committed, we've got time to take that parry repose. All right? So this action, we'll do 10. Half advance, mock a parry, extend for the repose. All right? So remember, the parry, you don't want to bring it all the way back here. Nice rotation with the wrist. If you've got the uh, the vacuum cleaner that you used before, that we've used before, you can use that. Half advance, tap the vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner, and then go. Alright? So, let's do 10. Half advance, half extension. They start their counterattack, take the parry, rotate back, repost. One. Half, parry, repost. Two. Uh, no, we're at three, right, right? Now let's go to two. Two. Three. We can try a different pair of repos. Four. Circle six. Pair of repos. Five. Six. Pair of repos. Uh, six. Pair of eight. Whoops. I can do better than that. Ready? Do that one over. After that. Parry eight, repos. Nine. I'm getting all my numbers mixed up. Let's say two more. Nine. And ten. Good. All right. So the last one, we're just gonna add two things together. We're gonna do the half advance and the half extension. Finish the attack, then recover, and do the parry repos. So, test it, nothing. We go, we either miss or we get stopped, we recover, parry, and we go, all right? One, pull, recover, extend again, parry, repose. Two, half advance, pull, recover, extend.
10 again. Parry. I'll go a little bit faster. Three. Four. Five. I was a little late on that pair of repos. Six. Seven. Late on the pair of repos again, not thinking. Eight. Pair of repos as you're going back, extend again. Nine. And ten. Good. That was a pretty easy one. Pretty quick. Take your time. Make sure you plant that back foot. I don't want it sliding forward. When you lunge, notice I've been holding the lunge. So you don't let that. Ooh. You don't want to bounce back from that. I don't want you to bounce back from that. I want you to be able to hold your lunge and not just go and immediately come back. All right? So, work on that. And I'll see you in the next section. Well, that, that was a, I like that, uh, that piece of blade work that we used to do. Um, and we'll probably continue a lot of that uh, do, during the regular classes. Oh, Sabrina's here. Hey, Sabrina. Oh, okay. For those of you that joined the Wednesday class, this is Sabrina. Um, but we, I think she might have helped us with some of our uh, uh, skill work. During the uh, during the summer, uh, she's also been fencing during the summer as well. Um, do you remember that one skill work that we used to do? That that was a good one. We did that during summer camp as well. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, let's let's think about that one and see if we can bring it back for us. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we've got our trusty vacuum cleaner and our attached pole. You need something uh, just a little bit higher than the fence, okay? Um, so the vacuums are high enough so that I put this on here, or if you've got something to put the vacuum on, put it on something. But you just need a pole in front of you. Wherever your target is, I want it dead center in the target, okay? We're gonna work on coupe attacks today, all right? So first one, you're gonna stand off to, if you're a right-handed fencer, stand off to the right side of the, uh, of the pole, your left handed fencer stand to the left side of the pole. I want to have that bigger target on the side that I'm hitting. Alright, so on this one, we're going to start off with just extensions. We're going to do 10 each. I'm going to do uh, three, Isabel will do three, Gabe will do four. Alright, so this one is just an extension. Well, I totally missed on that one. So make sure you're extending first before you go. So you're starting on the fourth side of the blade or the, the pole. All right, I'm standing off to the right, so I get I have a nice, easy target to hit. All right, I'm doing it with this so you can see it easier. So with the weapon, I'm on off to the right of the weapon. Coupe over, straight hit. Over the point, straight hit. We're not going underneath. Over and hit. Okay. So Isabel, come up. We're going to do three. She's going to be off to the right of the the pull. It's a nice, easy coupe, extend and hit from extension distance. So she can establish, she's going to establish her extension distance. Good. And she's kind of dead center, so she can move off to the right a little bit. There you go. She's going to start off on the four side. Good. And she doesn't have to be, you don't have to be too far from here. I want a coupe straight. So you don't want to, you don't have to be far from the pole. You can be right near it. Nice, good coupe and hit. Let's do two more, nice and fast. Good. You just want a consistent hit. Let's do two more. Good. And then Gabe's going to come up. All right? So Gabe will be up. Remember, take your time. You don't, I don't want you to be far here. I want you to be near it. All right? Coupe and hit. Remember where he hit. Be consistent. You're off to the right of the pole a little bit. Good. From a four, coupe over to six. Good. So if you can go slow, that's fine. If you need to go slow, that's fine. But if you go fast, you're just pulling back and forward. Do one more. Good. Now this next one, we're just going to go opposite of that one. So we were standing off to the right of the pole. Now we're going to be standing off to the left. We're going to coupe from the six side to the four. All right? Six side. Oh, I messed that one up. Six side to the four. All right, I'll go slowly, just enough where you get over that pole 
extend it straight. You don't want to go too far, right? It's also not a circular hip. It is up over, extend it straight. So we'll see three more. Good. From six side. Notice I've moved over a little bit. That way we don't have to angulate to hit. I don't want you to angulate to hit. I just want you to go straight. We'll watch Isabel do four, uh, three. She's going to be on the left side of the pole. Coupe from the six over to the four. All right. You can start off slow. Make sure you have your extension distance. Good. Remember, I don't want you to angulate, so make sure you're far enough to the other side. If you need to move over a little more, you can. Good. That was good two months. You should go a little faster. Good. Good. Remember, the hand stays high. Good. I'll have you do one more. Good. Okay, you're up. So, we're coming from the six to the four. All right. Good. It's got an extension distance. Always establish your extension distance. Good. Hit a little low on that one. Don't fix it. Now he's too high. You'll fix it. There you go. He's right on target. Good. Let's have him do two more. He can go fast. Good. One more. Good. All right. Same distance. This time we're going to do it from a beat. All right. So we're going to we're going to start over from this side. Four beat. Coupe over six. Four beat. Coupe over to six. So we're the real weapon. I'm going to establish my extension distance right there. So from the four, just a quick beat. Over. All right. We're going to have Isabel go. She's going to beat on the four side. Coupe over to six. All right. Beat on the four side. Coupe over to six. Good, see so if she can go a little bit faster. Just barely, nice one, just barely over the pole. Good. Now these next few ones, she's taking that beat on the bottom of her blade with her palm or the bottom of her hand facing towards the target. I want it sideways, so beat, nice easy beat then. All right. Good. We're gonna bring Gabe up. So remember, we're not hitting like this. It's just a nice open. Quick tap in there. All right. Ready? You can move over. There you go. Tap. Go. She can speak to the butt. Remember, the beats don't have to be hard. You have to like the other hand. Good. It's just nice. Easy. That was nice. Give him one more. So, what we're doing on this last set is just the exact opposite. We're going to go from this side. I want you to beat. Coupe over and hit. Beat. Coupe over and hit. Beat, coupe it over and hit. Alright, it's better. You're up. So you're beating on the fourth side of the blade, coupe over and hit. Alright, so if you're against an opponent, you're hitting on the sixth side of the blade. Alright, so she's off over. Good. Make sure you're enough over where you don't have to angle around it. I want some nice straight. idea of what we're doing so we're going to mix it up a little bit we're going to go to a lunge we're going to do three straight coupe hits and then we're going to do three beat hits so back from starting on their sixth side hitting on the fourth side straight so make sure it goes over going straight before you lunge don't do this no 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 all right over straight and go over straight and go now at beats Make sure, now we're adding more things to it. Make sure you're extending first before you lunge. All right, so Isabel will come up first. It's a lunge distance from four to six. She'll do three and then add the beats, four to six. Good. 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 We're gonna change it a little bit where she's not too far here. We're just gonna be here. She has to coupe in it. But I don't want you far from the pole. Alright, any further it makes it a little bit easier. Let's do one more. Now add the beat. It makes it easier now, you're not that far from the pole. You're not having to swing for it. Alright. Good. Gabe's gonna do his. Remember we're coming from the four side to the six. First couple is just a straight hit with a lunge. And then the last three, beat. Straight hit with a lunge. We're on this side. Good. From four to six. Lunge distance. Good. Four. 
start off straight first, it'll be good, just like that. And I like how he's going fast. He's just barely getting over that, that tip of that, that point, that pole, and then he's extending before he lunges. Good. Add in some beats. the other side. Same thing. Three. Just regular lunges. From their fourth side to the sixth side. Now we're going to do some beats. Remember to extend before you lunge. Alright? Go slow if you have to. Extend before you lunge. Alright? This is your up. As you lunge, make sure you're not sliding the feet. Alright? So we're on that side. Straight coupe lunge, establish a lunge distance. Good. No beat, straight coupe lunge. Good. She can go a little further than that. Good. See if you can do that faster. One more faster. Good. Now, a beat. Good. See if you go faster. There you go. Good. Gabe, okay, you're up. Straight coupe lunge, and then a few beat lunges. Good, there's a lunge distance. There you go. Good, if you can go further, go further. Nice. Now let's do some beats. Good, I don't know what he did there. He did not do coupe. Let's try that again. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to do advanced lunge. The first one is just straight advanced lunge. Advanced, I show them that attack. They're going to go, oh, I'm going to parry over there. I go over the weapon and go. There's the attack. Just kidding. I'm going to do the other side. Now we're going to do the beat. Advanced with the beat. Coupe. Advanced with the beat. Coupe. Advanced with the beat. Coupe. So, nice and fast. Alright, one more time. Alright, remember, we're not hitting it hard. So, Isabel, you're up. From the advanced lunge distance, advance with a faint coupe lunge. Ready? So, she's going to find that advanced lunge distance. Advance to their six. Coupe lunge. Good. Add a little bit of extension, so. There, go. Good. You can just extend. You don't have to go here. It's just look at it. Then go. Here it comes. Then go. Now she can teach you to do two more fast. Good. Last one. Good. Now it's going to be advance with the book. Advance with the feet. Coupe and go. Try to beat, get that beat as soon as you can. You don't want to be late. Reach out and beat. Good. Now we're beating on the fourth side. Oh, she does that beat. Let's try a few more. Good. Let's keep it really small. What's happening? She's going really far and going for the big beat. So here, you're at the regular guard, just the fourth side. I extend the beat. Then go. Ready? Good. Hit a little bit higher on that blade. There you go. Give me one more. Good. Now Gabe's up. And he's going to do three extend advance coupe over, and then three extend beat. Then go. Remember, the beats happen as soon as you can. Ready, Gabe? Advance. 
We're trying to catch it while we are, that front foot is moving forward. Let's do one more. And I'm doing one. So on this last one, why don't you just mix it up? It's, it's a dance. It's a, uh, you're going to be doing this on your own. You can do extensions, you can bounce around, go to lunges, you can go to advanced lunges, you can go straight coupes, you can straight, you can do coupes with the beat before it. So all we're doing is just nice and relaxed, all right? But the attack, I want coupe. So if you're off on this side, all right, you're just moving around nice and easy. You can switch off over here anytime you want, all right? I'm doing lunges. I can do extension. Sometimes you can, I can be a parry and then go. All right, I can be over here, I can parry. Okay, go. Oh, I hit low on here. I can go a little bit further and just work on advanced lunges. So I just want you to keep moving, change your distances. See, try some peaks. All right, but we're just working on two base from different areas. So I did mine. We're going to have this Mel do hers. She's going to move back and forth, nice and relaxed. Extensions, lunges, advanced lunges, beats, but all the attacks will be coupe. So you're going to have to decide which side you're on. You can switch back and forth. Any attacks that you want, it's constant movement. Good. We'll try not to take too much time between each one. Good. We're we'll trying to put one on target. Good. Mix it up. Maybe some extensions, some advanced lunges. Different attacks. Maybe change sides. You've been on that side for a while. Just try to do so naturally instead of having to tell yourself, okay, now I'm going to move here. Just move back. Sort of like a boxer. You're just kind of moving. Okay, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to be over here. Nice and relaxed. So we'll have to do two more. Good. And then gauge. All right, okay, you're up. It's a nice, easy movement. All right. Advances, extensions. Lunges. Moving one side to the other naturally. All the attacks will be coupes over. Now some of them could just be extensions. It's like you're doing a parry rebounds or a beat attack. They don't all have to be lunges. They don't have to all have to be advanced lunges. That was a disengage, not a coupe. <laughs> I see everything. It's okay. Even you practicing at home, I can see what you just did wrong. Good. Good stand first. Let's do two more. Nice hit. Good. Very good. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed that practice. Um, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, maybe we'll be in class. Uh, but it'll be a slow start. We'll see how many people are in here. Uh, again, everyone stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, but we still have one more section. I'll see you in the next section. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that uh, trip down memory lane. Um, I will try to continue to do some uh, video classes for the month of October. Um, so October might be the last month that we do video classes. Uh, we're going to skip the cool down. Um, I will do a new bout analysis. Uh, I'll look for one. Um, look forward to seeing everyone next week. Uh, and I'll say it uh, at the end of the bout analysis, but I'll say it now. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Uh, so let's do a bout analysis or video review, actually more like a bout analysis. Um, <clears throat> this features uh, Yuki Oda, one of my favorite fencers. He's fast, uh, quick, um, against uh, Alexander Masialis, uh, another really great fencer. Both of these fencers I love to watch. I was actually trying to find a video of Oda versus Salvatore Sanzo uh, from Italy. Um, I thought I saw one, but the, but the quality wasn't that great. Um, maybe uh, I'll try to do a, a review with Salvatore Sanzo um, in the next time that we do this. But uh, we'll get a chance to watch <coughs> Yuki Oda and uh, Masialis. Uh, I'm sure I've probably seen this video at some point. Uh, I don't remember how this goes, so <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be watching along with me. Looks like they're still, yeah, they're still using cords, not, um, 
Nice little push and a counterattack by Oda. Uh, you've seen in other videos, Masialis likes to come in from that four side. Um, and Oda was able to sneak in that counterattack. I like Oda because he's fast. Not saying that fast is always good. And we do a lot of things that's slow. That should have been Masialis. Yeah, nice. And, oh great, we get a slow motion. It's just, uh, I think he takes the blade coming in. Either parry repost on his preparation. Let's watch that again. Push, 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 push. Yeah, the blade comes out from Yuki Oda. It comes out, and he takes it one more time. Um, Masialis touch. Not fast. Nice, nice and controlled. But he likes to take that four side. He's coming in from the four to the six. Let's see if he changes that up. Just depending on what Yuki does. We're at one and one. Again, a push from Masialis. And so, uh, sometimes the danger of getting this, you know, he gets the parry, boom. He tries to get that repost, but he doesn't get it. Now he's stuck in that corner or stuck in the edge of the strip and he's got to defend again. But notice he's always looking for the blade. He's not just waiting for the attack. He's trying to keep it, um, you know, try to keep Alexander guessing which way to, uh, to attack. Ooh, nice. The so parry and then the repost is to the back. Let's see a slow motion there, there. Masialis tries to he thinks he's going to parry there, shows a lot of his back, Oda quickly changes over, and there there might have been a feint too, now watch, there's a feint, and then goes over, again, goes back to, um, goes back to uh, target recognition, you know, don't always go for the same target, you know, if you see something else open up, and the other one's closed off, go for the one that's open. And a push by Oda, he changes tempo, he slows down, oh, misses the attack. A good lesson in never giving up there. But now, Alexander is stuck in a corner there. And a remise by Yuki. So there's the first attack. Remiz, uh, he misses his repost, and no, it's not a repost. <laughs> There's that four, there you go. He prepares from that four side again, and then finishes on the six side. We've seen that from Masialis a lot, and he's really good at it. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Counterattack by Yuki again. So he might be expecting that it's gonna go from the four to a six. Actually, no, he doesn't go four to six. He tries to keep it on the four side, and Yuki blocks it out as he uh, tries to counterattack. So if you watch the counterattack slowly, there's a counterattack, and then he moves his arm to block out the Alexander's final attack. Quick preparation, or a quick uh, beat attack from... Oh, another quick one from Yuki. Let's go back a few touches there. Yeah. So there's I think there's an attack in preparation. Keeps his feet on the ground. He's in control of his movement forward, able to stop, take the parry, and finish. Yeah. You don't want to gallop ahead. Yeah, there are times you can, but you know. Keep your feet on the ground. Be ready to stop whenever you can. Oh, they got a little too close to each other. If you see the final attack, they're both kind of bent arm. Yuki got a, got a good shot at that one. So we're, Yuki's up 7-2. And I think a counterattack from Alexander. There's a beat from Yuki. And he misses his thrown point to his shoulder. Counterattack from Masialis lands. 
There he goes, looking for the blade. He gets out of there. Now he can move forward again. So don't be afraid. If you feel the attack, get out of there. Don't just stop. And you don't necessarily have to try to repost immediately. He gets out. And now he's able to push himself again. And he has to move himself back. Looking for the blade, looking for the blade. Oh, almost a preparation attack from Yuki or counterattack. I don't know what happened there, but we didn't miss anything, just enough target light. Ah, so Yuki took, looks like he took a chance there. He didn't go for the immediate repost. He wanted to try to kind of push him closer to the edge. There's the attack. And he doesn't immediately go, he tries to take it again. And I don't know where the final hit came from Alex. I don't know if he got that second pair of repost. I, it was just too fast, I didn't see it. We're not going to get an instant replay there. Oh, nice pair of repost. Does he get the touch? Or is it initially an off target? Okay, initially an off target. Uh, almost a preparation. That was close. It was still Alex's touch off target. But you notice all the movement in the blade? It's not just random movement. There is a little bit of randomness to it, but they are, they're looking for where the blade is going to be. It's not just swinging that weapon around. And that, in case you're wondering, that is Masialis' dad. <laughs> Oh, okay. You got caught flat, flat footed there. Yeah. He just stops. He's looking for it, can't find it. Masialis finds a way through. Yeah. Couldn't find it. And we got a good top view there. He does a good job of hiding it. There's a brief instance where he takes it there into the four. Yuki can't find it. He goes for an attack. Alexander goes for the attack. Nice touch. And we're now six and seven. Alex is within one. And this is uh, 2015. 2015 World Championships men's foil. So a couple years back. Yuki might have been thinking, ah, I've lost too many touches there. Let me go ahead and change my weapons. Sometimes that's just a mindset. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, takes a second or two. Give yourself a few seconds to think about what you're doing. Grab a new weapon. We're still in the first period. Oh, got a little too close. Now that's the danger of sometimes, ooh, that might have been Alex's. The initial attack from Yuki, no, and then... Yeah, it is Alex's. So the, I was about to say, the danger sometimes in, in going too fast, if, if your opponent doesn't go away, now all of a sudden you're right on top of them. So always be mindful of where your, your target is, where your opponent is. Um, start your attacks with good extensions, depending. You know, we've do, we do a lot of exercises with hidden blades, late attacks. Um, I like his body movements when he's coaching. <laughs> both miss on the initial one, both go to the preem. Um, but uh, I think the initial call was to Alex. So we're now tied to 7 7. Uh, we had a pause there and I couldn't tell what happened. So the first re. Yeah, yeah. So repost and then the repost from Oda. 
Uh, should be Yuki's again. Interesting piece of footwork. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Just because he's being a little bit creative there. I don't know why he's doing it, but hey, it works. Yeah, so he takes it. And he takes the blade twice before he goes. Interesting piece of footwork. There's a beat, there's a second beat, and then a go. Oh no. Uh, you know, they've said, you know, when, when I have referees try to explain it to me, the beat always defeats a parry repost. Um, so, so sometimes we do, we do do attacks where we're taking a blade as we're coming in. Um, cause they do look at it. Uh, I tend to just call it as I see it. If I see a parry repost, it's a parry repost. If I see a beat attack, it's a beat attack. Uh, here's an instant replay there. There's a first parry. He sees the back immediately. And he's able to whip it right around. Gets pretty low in the back there, too. Oh, keep fighting. There's a final repost. Yeah, I thought it was a still parry repost. What's the, what's the question? Let's, let's take a look at it before we get our own instant replay. I mean, I thought that was clear. There's the attack. Final parry. Repost. And I don't know what Masialis hit to cause the white light, but apparently the the referee is looking at something. I thought it was a clear parry repost from Yuki Oda, and that's what Yuki's coach is complaining about. Ah. Uh. Let's see, can we get an instant replay? They're, at, they're saying a yellow card from Yuki for covering. I don't see it. There's a parry. I don't see where the yellow card is. Ah, I mean, we can't see it from this angle. Apparently the referee did see something, but we can't. He, he's not... He doesn't like the call. I thought it was a good hit. Nice, just straight attack there. Wow. Simple, simple attack. Works great. Don't be afraid to just go and, and finish. Sometimes we have, ooh, he got caught there, move away. This might be Alex's. Yeah, there's a parry, there's a first repost. Here's Alex's last repost, there we go. But sometimes we push and push and get there and never accelerate, never finish, learn to accelerate. And there is those weird, uh, is it a, an attack off target? Whatever you think you hit, and it hits off target, go ahead and ask the test. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Most fencers say, hey, you know, I thought I felt you hit. Or, yeah, you hit me on my arm. Oh, that was a little bit lucky there. He misses his first attack and does an immediate remise without taking the... the there's the first attack. Masialis's repost just takes a wee bit too long and he stays there and he's able to get a second that remise and then the parry i'll watch that again so here's the first attack boom you know, not something i always like everyone doing you know I, we really don't teach a whole lot of remises um sometimes i do especially for the more the advanced fencers um but uh you know you don't have right away if you remise after their parry yeah, that's, if, I didn't see that uh, Masialis asked for a replay on that one. Oh, counterattack for Masialis. They're only down by three. That's not a lot. You still get back. Oh, nice. Parry repost. Masialis thought it landed on the arm. Do we get an instant replay on that one? Let's watch it again. 
Uh, you've seen me with that kind of attack too. Um, it's just taking it. He just does it a heck of a lot faster than I do. <laughs> and he's within a touch of winning. Let's see if Marcialis can squeeze in a few more touches there. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice hide. And he almost got through. Let's, do we get an instant replay on that one? Let's see if we can get an instant replay on that one. Um, but it was a nice hide, and instead of finishing underneath with the disengage like he usually does, he actually goes over the blade. And I thought he might have gotten a, really close to that, um, but he didn't. Uh, so let's see if we can get an instant replay on the on that final touch there. Um, but it's a good immediate repost by Yuki. I'm trying to remember his coach's name. Uh, okay, that's here we go. Here we go. He goes over, misses it, and there's that final touch. It's a good bout. Very good bout. Yuki is one of my favorite ones to watch. Um, I like his style. Uh, not to say it's the best style, it's just I like his style. It's, it's the way I, I enjoy fencing. Um, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, so that's our bout analysis today. Um, I will see everyone this week for, for classes, the return of classes. So um, until tomorrow, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. The All-American Fencing Academy is grateful to our sponsors who are helping us bring you our on-strip, at-home video training classes. Fox Bookkeeping, helping small business owners and entrepreneurs to run their businesses with confidence by helping them know what the score is. Steve C. McRae, PA, Burlington Family Law, Divorce, and Personal Injury Attorney. Matthew Woods, VO, Professional VoiceOver Services. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Huh, we've gotten some, getting some weapons ready for, for the classes to return, huh? <laughs> he didn't know what to say, let's try that again. No, I didn't know you were talking about it. Yeah, I was talking to you. Boy, oh, jeez. Um... Now you've helped with, I think uh, we've we're gonna, we've done. Blah. <laughs> oh, the joys of ad living. Uh -huh. All right, I think we've got plenty of weapons ready for the return of for, for, for classes. Blah, blah blah blah. One more time. God bless. <laughs> See if we can bring it back for us. <laughs>